This is my base, and beyond it, a vast ocean filled with treasures. A solo like myself can travel through these depths like a shadow, leaving no trace and almost impossible to kill. But to get my riches home, I have no choice but to surface and scale the harsh cliff defenseless. But what if I told you there was a way to transport my loot from the bottom of the ocean straight into the safety of my base in the blink of an eye? Well, stick around and you'll find out how. And so welcome to my solo Rust adventure. The time was 8am, exactly 12 hours from the start of White. On the first day, I had traveled across the map to the edge of the world, where I had laid the foundations of my solo stronghold, building a complex bunker system to keep my loot secure. And sure enough, waking up on day two, my base remained unraided. It was time to begin. Ah, would you look at that? I still have a base. I knew I would. My bunker never fails. Let's get this refinery going. And then I need to open up the bunker to get to my core. I have big plans for today. I, uh... I thought of an idea that I wanted to do. Because I really want to farm the water today. I want to go to labs. I want to go to rig. But, uh, but here by Fishing Village, there are so many players that it's so risky that final run back to my base. And so I've come up with a little mechanism to avoid that. We're going to see if I can make it work. Being so early in the morning, lots of the server was still sleeping. And so before anything, I wanted to take advantage by heading to the underwater labs. Okay, now I know people like to use the full heavy plate armor in labs, so I'm going to learn the incense shell just in case, so that I have something to use against them. Myself, my fins, diving tank, and goggles, and I am ready to go. Now this is going to be a, a fairly long swim. I don't have a boat, but uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll make it work. Hey, there's a base on that iceberg. What a legend. Maybe I should do another iceberg base again. I gotta miss it, man. It was a lot of fun. Here we go. <laughs> this is a hell of a swim. It's definitely going to be nighttime by the time I get there. This game really does look so stunning sometimes. I love the water and the sunsets. Hey, why go outside in real life when you can, <laughs> when you can enjoy good views like this? And after a long swim, I eventually made it to the underwater labs. But would I be the only one there? Oh shit! No, that is not good, rads. Well, the good news is, I think it's just scientists, so I think I'm free to clear it. Oh my gosh! Bro, why do scientists do so much damage? Wait, that's not good, I'm gonna get healed. Take two, here we go! That bastard. That was the one. Okay, well, I think we've got the place to ourselves. <laughs> the crates here are just so strong, it's unbelievable. Labs has such a creepy atmosphere. They did so well with the, uh... Oh! What the? There are so many! <laughs> they did so well with, like, the... The design of labs. They got, they managed to get such a like immersive but creepy uh, vibe going on. With full control of the underwater labs, I continued to loot it as the crates respawned. And once I was full inventory, I prepared to head home. And I think the most insane part of that is 50 high qual before recycling. I mean, that is so good. I need that for my base. Okay, now I just gotta get home. Goodbye, labs. And eventually, I made it to shore. But now, for the most dangerous stretch of the journey. Oh my god, I hate this part so much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Just knowing my luck, there's gonna be someone just right there. Come on. Get me up. I think we're good. Get me in! <sighs> we made it. Good run. But that is why I want to create this system, because I want to be completely safe. I don't want even a chance of losing my loot there. And with a successful labs run, it was now on to the next objective. And I had my sights on oil rig. Okay, now I don't have a red card, so I'm going to go with diving tank spear gun, and I'm going to rat. Okay, oil rig we go. Wait, how could I forget? Gotta get a boogie board. Oh, wait. Does that guy just come from the water? Oh, and there's a mini coming from rig. Oh my god, that guy definitely just came from oil rig. I'm gonna go for him. Oh, thank god, I thought he was going in that base. Uh... Okay. Oh. Please be loaded. Ooh. LR? Holy shit. Why have you got that? Ooh, fucking run. That guy definitely lives right there. There's no way he's running around 10 HP with, like, oil rig leftovers. <laughs> Get me in base. Let's go. Easiest LR of my life, maybe? And now with an upgraded arsenal, it was time to put my new weapons to use. Ooh, someone recycling. Wait, it's two of them. One on the roof, one on the ground. I don't think they've got... I think they've just got revies or something. Should be easy. One dead. One more. Where you running to? Get back here! Ooh, 200 scrap, thank you. Oh, 350? What the fuck? Oh! 650 scrap? No way. It pains me that I never opened the storage to the back of the car. I guess we'll never know what was in it. After making it home safe and banking the loot, I headed back to the outpost to see if there was any left over. Someone here. Probably the same guy. Nice, got the P2. Maybe this guy looted the Revy. Don't know what happened with that revolver then. Oh well. Another 100 scrap. Let's get this disgusting Thompson skin off my gun. That's more like it. That's better. <laughs> what the fuck? That guy just emerged from the bush. With AK full kits nearby, I headed right back. Someone recycling. It's the same guy. No, that's definitely not the AK full kit. That's so annoying, that guy literally just crouched out of a bush and appeared. Crunch. Oh, I think that was the revolver that I, uh, that I missed. Okay. Oh well. That's nice. I will actually farm some nodes on my way back. Well, I lost the Tommy, but I used that Tommy to get 650 scrap, so I'd consider that a worthwhile trade. While passing through my area, I'd spotted a base that had a wooden door and a code lock. The perfect target for a Molotov raid. Now, thanks to my refinery and the fact that I live near Rig and Labs, I will pretty much have unlimited low grade this entire wipe, because I will just always have so much crude. So I think it's a good idea that I'm just constantly doing Molotov raids, 
because that's such a good way of just getting farm. Okay, please have another wood door behind. I beg. Wooden door code locks are just the best targets because you know that if they have a code lock that they've got another player. And I think you'd be surprised how many times I've had insane <laughs> wood door eco raids. Ah, metal door. That is a shame. I might come back with satchels because it's probably just one door to the rest of their loot. I hope. With my leftover molotovs, I headed off to explore and look for a new target. I've got a satchel. Well, that's one out of four. Don't do it much. Take some gears. Another garage door for me. Come on, have a wood door. Please. Ah, metal. You know what? There's a lot of stone here. I'm going to farm it. Despite being in the snow, my area has so few nodes that I actually really need this. Wait, it's not by me. Sneaky son of a- he had a saw! What the fuck? Santo, that's the same guy that I keep seeing at the mining outpost. What little rats! I will take your upgrade though, thank you. Ooh, I'm full inventory, but I see a wood single door. <laughs> I cannot resist. I'm sorry, everybody. It has to be done. Wood door code lock. Ah, another metal door. Shame. I will find a good raid. Despite no successful raids, with a full inventory of loot and resources from my roam, it was time to head home. And on my way back, I found myself a new companion. Hey, who left Pickles here? Is he free? Yeah. Good damn. Free horse. The nice thing about Fishing Village is you actually very often get horses left around because people will buy a horse, ride to the village, and then leave it there, so... It's kind of helpful. You sit tight right there. God damn. That was a good run in the end. I went out looking for raids and <laughs> I ended up full inventory. My humble little starter base is starting to run out of storage. I don't think I expected to, uh, to end up with this much. Okay, listen, listen. I, w I will organize my boxes eventually. I promise, guys. <laughs> but now, you're gonna have to suffer. But right now, I need some wood. a little bit. That'll do. Nighttime was beginning to fall, and with the resources farmed throughout the day, I was now ready to begin working on my little project. And step one involved building a new base in the sea. Alright, so I'm going to need a few things. I'm going to need a little bit of stone, tool cupboard, a couple doors. I'm not too sure how what design I'm going to do for this, because I've never built this before. But I'm just going to keep it simple. All it needs to be is something that I can access from underwater. Alright, I think that is everything I need. It's so annoying that that base is right there. That's exactly where I would have wanted to build my little transporter base. But no, I don't want to go all this way. I think I want to go onto the other side. Oh, fuck me. It's cold. I, I might have to wait for morning because this is not good. Oh, I'm dying so quick. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna wait till morning. Let's go! Okay, so I want to go further away from Fishing Village, so I've got even less chance of running into people. How close can I build to that guy's base? Ooh, I can build here. I think this is where I'm gonna do it. This triangle needs to be just high enough to build a tool cupboard. I think that is good. I'll then go with... Maybe I'll just go with a little six triangle design. And then I have these under... Wait, no, that's not low enough. Oh, unless I have the door there. That could be good, actually. Mm, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I think I'm ready. So I'll just have TC here. All I really need is room for just one large box, because that's like all of the storage I'm going to need here, because it's all going to get sent straight up to my main base. Okay, TC down. 
Actually, I can keep this really compact. I could just have a little single door airlock right there. That's literally all I need for this whole base. Okay, and then I can have my box on a shelf here. Hey, this is going to be so cool. Oh, you can't crouch underwater. I did not know that. Uh... Oh, actually, I know what to do. I've gone for the yellow submarine door just to keep with the theme. Yeah, I don't need an airlock on the bottom side. Perfect. Look at that. Look how cute that is. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'll get an airlock down there. Get myself a shelf here, and that'll help with storage. And I think that is everything I need here. I just need to get another door and some upkeep for TC. And with the new base built, it was on to the next step of construction. All right, thanks to those kind donations, I have plenty of scrap to do this. Okay, let's think. What do I need? So, I'm going to need all of these. The switch, the battery, the solar panel. And then I'm going to need the storage adapter, the conveyor. Am I going to need the splitter and combiner? I'm not actually sure that I would. Okay, I think I want the box for the loot to go into to be this one here, my little drop box. So, uh, I'm going to need to put... Oh, I'm going to need to craft a adapter. I love doing the industrial stuff. It's such a fun update from Rust. There's a lot that this game needs, like, work done. And a lot of the time when they add new stuff, I'm a bit like, ah, uh, I wish they prioritized quality of life and changing what's already in the game. But this was one thing that I actually love so much. It just adds so much creativity to this game, which is great. Like, there's no doubt that right now the PvP is quite stale. Like, after the recoil update, there's not much to kind of work on with PvP. It's just like point and shoot and so i'm glad that they're adding a lot of other ways to enjoy the game because well, yeah, the pvp is not it that's for sure the first step in my plan was to hook up the electricity to the industrial conveyor this would provide the power to transport the loot all right cool i think that's all i think that's the only conveyor i actually need in the whole system i'm pretty sure you just need one Okay, and then for the other base, I'm going to need a battery, solar panel, uh, another adapter. That should be good. Right, I actually am going to need a splitter or a combiner because that's the only way that I can extend the piping. Because unfortunately, you cannot just indefinitely extend the piping. So in order to get a pipe from my other base here, I'm going to need to have lots of combiners to sort of extend it. Okay, so in here, let's start off with getting that airlock on. Beautiful. And then battery can go up here. Then we need the box with the adapter. Beautiful. So that this is where I'll put all of my loot from like the long journeys to rig and labs. Okay, and then pipe the industrial out into the input of the conveyor. Now I need to power that conveyor, so... Oh wait, no, I need to get the solar panel on first. Is that gonna work? Oh shit. Oh! Parkour! <laughs> okay, let's whack the solar panel there. It barely needs any power, so that'll do. Alright, and then that will just pipe all the way up to the main base. Holy shit! Stop it! You're interrupting my, uh, my piping! fight, but I also don't really want to lose what I've got on me. I can get up. Okay, let's figure out exactly how far this will go on its own. So, let's take it straight from there. Let's just see how much, because you have, what, 25 meters? Let's just see how far that actually is. Okay. Okay, so I'm probably going to need three extenders, maybe two extenders actually because you can't send piping through walls, so I'm probably gonna need three. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, you can literally just place these and then just connect it. I don't think it needs any power. I don't think it needs tool cover. It's really easy to break though. So someone could grief this. So it would be a good idea for me to get 
like separate tool cupboards and use that but honestly for now i think this will do i, I can add tool cupboards later to make this system secure oh this piping is so awkward i hate the fact that you can't place it through things wait oh there's no way i'm gonna make it to the splitter i placed i'm gonna need another one closer let's try it there that'll definitely be close enough okay perfect but only five meters to spare so that's about the distance that i'm gonna need to separate them and then i think i just continue that line through to the next one Okay, excuse the wonky piping. I, <laughs> I wanted to make it fit with the terrain, but that didn't really work. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then I'm going to need one more in the water over here. Ah, you can't actually place it in the water. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to have to place it like right on the edge. Like that will do. Wait, I just heard someone jump above me. That is not good timing. The jackhammer farming. Oh, this could be huge. Wait, are they down? There's another one. What? Oh, come on. I so should have won that. Okay, I can still win it. Thankfully, I live right here. Go, 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 go. There's no way they can loot that fast. That was a lot of uh, mats on that guy's body. He's definitely still down there somewhere. Got him. Thank God for my new base. <laughs> this is perfect. I think that guy might have got some loot. No running away for you. Yeah, that guy definitely got loot. There should be a bunch of metal ore, if I'm not mistaken. She should have. There we go. Aha, you almost got away too. Nuh uh. Ah. See, I told you guys my uh, my little shoreline can be dangerous. Imagine if I'd been full inventory when they happened to be running past. That is why I need to get this system done. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to get some of my core upgraded to armored. They uh, are probably not going to be too happy with me when they know exactly where I live. With a win like that, and there was no doubt that a price was now on my head. And sure enough, it wasn't long before they were back. I could very easily be getting door camp now, so I'm going to check my route. I think I'm clear. What the hell? Was that guy there the whole time? One guy had come back. <laughs> I'll take a free socket. It's probably one of them. Come back. I'm trying to find my base. Right here, bitch. Okay, we're doing really well. Today, I have gained a lot. I've got a bunch of tier 2 guns. I've got lots of scrap. All I need to do is just finish the system that I started building. Pipe that into the splitter and then take that. Can I run this through the water? Oh, I can! Beautiful. And then, from there into... Wait. I'm being really stupid. Why do I have two conveyors? I only need one. Oh, I'm such an idiot! I didn't even need the solar panel in this base! <laughs> Why did no one tell me? Okay, take two. Without the conveyor. Take that straight to the industrial out, and now... Oh, there we go. All the loot that was in that box 
has just been sent up to my main base. That is so cool! So now, when I come back from long water runs, I can just come straight through that door underwater without ever having to surface. I just dump all my stuff in that box. Wait, wait, hang on, let me test. <laughs> so cool! So those five mushrooms just went in. We go back up to my main base. And I have no doubt that all of my loot should be safe right in there. Look at that, we got everything and the five mushrooms. Let's go! Ah, these boxes are getting fuller and fuller and I should really do some organizing. But not yet, I will procrastinate. After making some enemies in my nearby area, I thought it might be a good idea to do some upgrades to the base. Alright, I think a garage door right here will be perfect. Like, oh, that is two players outside my base. Might even be the same guys. Garage door there, just gives a little bit more protection to that drop box. Perfect, so there's at least four rockets just to get into that section now. Alright, let's see if we're getting camped or if those guys were just running past. Okay. I think we're good. Right, I definitely need to add some honeycombs to this base. Right now, it's just two layers to TC. So that's 19 rockets with the outside being stone. So uh, I want to make that at least like 23, 27 rockets. Also got to add honeycomb up the sides as well. And this base will be pretty strong. Okay, by getting this outside to metal, that will at the very least make it so it's 23 rockets to TC, which is actually quite a lot. I'm going to upgrade all of the honeycomb that's around the core. So now we've got a layer of high coal and a layer of sheet metal, which is pretty good. And then if I add another layer of stone, then that will be 27 rockets. Let's get garage door on the roof. Because I'm going to add another layer. I think I'm going to stick with the four triangle design all the way up. It's nice and clean. Okay, that will be my shoot up to the very top top. This can be a bedroom or maybe a loot room. Probably a bedroom actually. I think that was a double door for now. I'll have to get some more garage doors crafted. Just got to re-hook up the solar panel on the roof. Do that nice and quick. Oh, I love the uh, electric furnace system. One solar panel, one battery, two furnaces. It's so clean. It just works. Ooh, cargo is out. Alright, let's get loads in this box. Just some, some light organization. Just to keep you guys happy. I'm just putting tools, hazmats, ammo, guns in that one. That'll do. This can be my components box. I actually have quite a lot of comps. Put all my food up in this box there. This can just be my miscellaneous items and deployables. Alright, it's already looking better. Okay, and with that clothes box there, you know, I think we're pretty solid. Got tools in that top one. Got the binos in there. Got... Guns, ammo, all that lot in there. That's pretty much consistent. Probably shouldn't be a combat knife in there, but uh, yeah, not too bad. We've actually got quite a few tier 2 guns now, too. Yeah, look how much better that looks already. It was starting to get later on into the day. I wanted a break to get some food and relax, and so I sealed up the bunker and headed off. But my journey was still far from over, and after just a few hours, I would be back. And sure enough, when I returned, my base remained unraided. However, the time was now 7pm, peak hours for rust. And soon enough, my area would turn to chaos. But first, I needed to get some farming done. Oof, the electric furnace is a beautiful thing, look at that row of frags, gotta love it. Made 
Is that guy building over there? He is. <laughs> I only have a salvaged axe, but fuck it. For Sparta! That poor guy! <laughs> oh, you gotta be so scared when I did that, man. <laughs> I just fucking jumped on his head. Alright, we got a bit of wood. I can get the furnace going for charcoal, and we are looking good. First up, I want to add another solar panel to my roof so we can get some more power because I want to get an auto turret set up later on. And so I'm going to need a lot more power. And to get this turret, I'm also going to need a larger storage. So, medium battery down, that can go there. Got a perfect little uh, window spot for it here. Beautiful. Yeah, now I just need to get the solar panels hooked up to the battery. Oh, surely that can squeeze in there. Okay, I'm gonna move that one back a little bit. This guy about to build. Kinda looked like that guy was about to build. Another new base? Why are there so many people trying to build in my area? Oh, that's a wood single door. Oh, okay, I'm definitely raiding this guy. Holy, look at all those comps. He's about to go recycle. This guy is not going to last long in my neighborhood. Go up, bunga, motherfucker. I have a feeling this is going to happen lots. I mean, he had so many comps. He must have uh, farmed a lot of barrels. Maybe gone to the water or something. Alright, what do we got? Double barrel, satchel, okay. Ooh. Yeah, that was worth it. That was definitely worth 100 low grade, which is basically infinite for me. Good farm. With the number of players in my area increasing, I decided to take over this base I'd raided to have it as a flank. You never know when it might come in handy. Alright, successful little molly raid. Got a bunch of stuff in there. I hope that guy didn't think he was going back to his base. Got some bad news for you, buddy. Alright, there we go. We have three solar panels all hooked up to that one battery, which should be plenty of power for an auto turret and my electric furnaces. And with the wiring done, I can seal up the battery in its own cute little compartment. Look at that. That looks cool. You know what, I'm gonna have a little shelf here for another dropbox. i actually really liking this space, and I love that this all came from the starter that I built. I think that's why I love the starter so much, because you can just expand it however you like. I've kind of just been winging it, but I don't know, it's turned into something I think is really cool. I think it is time I finally got a shelf in my actual core loot room. <laughs> I don't know why I procrastinated this so long. Why are so many people trying to, like, farm and build in my area? This is insane. And with my base fortified and secure, I decided it was time to once again attempt to run oil rig. But with the player count much higher, things would no doubt be a little more difficult. Alright, I got a spear gun, I got a custom, I got meds, that's all I need. What the f- where did that guy come from? He might have a teammate. Oh, has he just come from labs or something? Oh, he just started farming. Just started farming. Where does he live? Could they live on that iceberg? They actually might. They might live all the way over there. Alright, take two. No distractions this time. Let's go rig. Wait, that boat's coming to shore. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna push this. This could be huge. One more. 
think he had metal. Oh, I can't go that far. This guy's really good. Come on, peek me. That's this guy's gun. Oh! No way. TC unlocked! Oh, what do I do? Uh, I need seal. Bro. Can't even reach the body. How do I seal this? Oh my god. What do I do? Bro, I can't even get the guy's gun. I think he had a AK or something. Oh, come on. I need building plan and hammer. Craft. God damn it. I'm getting roof camped from the compound? Come on, man. Ah, uh, please, just craft! Okay, let's start building. Oh, they don't stop coming! Okay, go, 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 go! No! Oh, I'm... I don't know what to do. I'm so dead. Fuck. God, I please. Oh, that timing. That last wall, and I had it. Damn. Oh, I should have crafted the building plan and the hammer before the door, and I'd have been fine. That's such a shame. I'm gonna go back. Okay. Bro, everyone's in this area now. Same guy, but now he's got a saw. Quick little depot just to get the saw kit back. I should still have TC, so I can go back. No way the gun was an LMG. I can't believe it fell in the water and I couldn't lose it. Okay, that was ridiculous. Right, where's the saw? Oh my god, this guy doesn't miss? I am really pinned down here, I don't know what to do. Another one. Wait, he's not the same guys? Oh, fuck. I'm so dead. Ooh, killed him. I think I just killed him. That was the, uh, DJ. Bro, what? how does he not miss a shot? Fuck, man. I made a play and I lose it to that. Wait, there's no way someone's reached this body, right? <laughs> he thought. Well, that's one kit. Guess it was MP5, not LMG. Oh, he's still just holding it with the LMG. Oh my god, this guy's crazy. Well, I didn't lose anything. I got an MP5 and a SAR back, but. It's just a shame. Could have had so much more. Ooh, this never got fully looted. And I bet there will be a SAR here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Nice. Alright, gained a kit. Not bad. Good fights, too. I'm gonna go back one more time. I'm gonna take a double barrel. This is interesting. Oh, shit. Wait, did I have a launcher? I hope I'm not about to get raided. Wait, they're coming my way. Okay. He knows. Wait, am I getting raided? Oh, I've got a timer. This isn't good. They were heading right towards my base. This is really bad. Wait, I'm not getting raided. What are they... 
Wait, are they raiding the base? Did I just... What's that guy got on his back? What's going on? I swear that naked just had like an AK on his back or something. What? Bro, I guess they must have just heard that LMG going off for so long, they just decided to grab a bunch of launchers and fucking raid it. I was convinced that I was about to get raided, man. What is happening with my area? See, this is why I built the system which takes my loot home for me, because if I came back from the water now, there's no way I'm getting in my base. Let's go see if I can uh, do something about these guys. I might, <laughs> I might try and kill them. Wait. <sighs> Wait, that is a lot more. Oh, oh, that is a lot more than I thought. Hang on a minute. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the beach. What? Okay, yeah, you know, I'm probably not gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna shoot them. <laughs> Ain't no way. Not in this space. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just a poor, lonely solo. You don't, <laughs> I'm good. You don't, you don't need to fight me. I'm chill. <laughs> ah, just a, just a small group of friends. <laughs> Bro, they are just chilling on that hill and I do not like it. I feel like they might just decide to come raid me. I thought I heard someone outside. Is he still hit sitting here? I don't know, like it. I need a bed. <laughs> okay, I I guess he was sitting outside. Yeah, the same guy. That was those are the guys just got raided. Right now, with those guys lurking around, I think I need another floor. I need a bed. I need a locker. Actually, unless I put the bed in the locker right there. Hmm. Okay, I think these guys are finally cleared off. I'm not gonna make another floor. I think I'll make my shooting floor this floor. But can I squeeze in the bed and the locker? No way I'm getting that locker in, right? Wait, ooh, I can. I mean, it's not perfect, but it does the job. Alright, let's get myself the ladder blueprint, because I could do with that here. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to try switching it the other way around, and putting the bed on the left and locker on the right. I think that might work better. Right, come on. Please let me fit this bed here. This could actually be really nice if it can. Oh, look at that. There we go. That's not bad. That works. It's cozy. Cozy. Listen, guys, I make some questionable bases, but there's no denying. They always end up cozy. <laughs> Compact, efficient, sometimes impractical, <laughs> but I love it. And you know what? I think it's time for the auto turret. I've also just realized, I think I've said maybe like four times today that I'm going to oil rig, and every time I get distracted because there's like someone with a gun at my doorstep. <laughs> I haven't even been able to go in the water since I made my whole fucking piping system, man. This is the most anticlimactic video ever. Right, now, do I want my auto turret on the roof or here? I think I want it on this floor. I think right there would be good, but I want to get rid of that single door. The single door airlock's good, but I think it's time for a garage door there. Thank God for the creation of the jackhammer, because I would be losing the will to live without it. Ah, there we go. I think that was worth it, because now with that extra garage door, that's an extra three rockets, and it also opens up the, uh, this section quite a bit. See, now I can put my old turret right there. Look at that. It's perfect. It covers everything. I'm just going to put a saw in there because I have a few extras. And boom. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm proud of this base. It's come a long way from a little shit shack at the start of yesterday. Look at us now, gaming. Wait. There's no way that guy has been sitting outside the entire time I've been upgrading my base. 
I actually feel bad for those two. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I've been building in my base for like half an hour. <laughs> oh, I respect the patience. Oh, actually, I'm not sure if this guy is with him. He might have been. It's, uh, instead of running up to base, I'm just going to chuck everything in my little, in my little uh, transporting room. Right, I'm going to go molly raid that little base that's popped up on the shore. Could be worth it. Alright, what have we got? Another wood door, that's good. Two more mollies. Alright, what do we got? Come on. We could also break the other one, actually. At the door, come on. I guess I might as well finish this door, but it's probably not worth it. I reckon I'll come back with satchels eventually, though, because that would probably be worthwhile. Oh, okay. I think these guys are just wasting... Yep, that's the same duo from the ice lake... Oh, the iceberg. I think they're just wasting for me now. They've uh, given up the door camping, and now they're sitting in bushes outside my base waiting for me to run by. <laughs> These guys are so angry. Oh, they've moved to a different bush. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Just aiming at my base. Oh, okay. The same guy. Now they're just running to my base naked. What is wrong with these guys? I don't understand. They don't want to just get on with their own thing, apparently. To avoid the duo camping my area, I decided to head west into the snow towards the Sulphur Quarry. That's AK. Wait, he's right there, what the fuck? Oh my god, I should have died there, but he didn't see me. I really want to shoot, but I want to wait because I guarantee he's got teammates and I want to know where they are. Should have a good angle any second. Shooting me with only star. Come here, bitch. Oh. Give me. Let's go. Sulfur. Three K. I'll take it. I'm out of here. That might just be one of the easiest eight Ks of my life if I can make it home. Oh, I better not be getting door camped by that duo right now. Get me in. Yes. Hey, look at me go, boys. Wildjum with an AK. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? Not me. Oh, shit. There's actually quite a lot on this guy. That went back. That was worth it. This little shit shack has got loaded quite quickly, actually. It was starting to get late into the night, and with guns to fall back on, I decided I'd go on some PvP roams. There is definitely someone in Mining Outpost. I think he's quite good. This is definitely the AK guys. Uh oh. There's two in mining outposts and I see two in front of me. Oh fuck. Alright, I'm gonna shoot in three, two. Oh. That that was the exact second he turned and saw me. M2? Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. With the eight plus player Zerg roaming my area, I thought now was a better time than ever to go to oil ring. Finally. Tough. I think I've just got to wait for the right moment. Alright. Fuck it. Hopefully they're not ready for me. No. Oh, 
why was he already peeked over the ledge? Okay. Bruh. I made zero sound and he was just sat aiming at the door. Wanting to expand my base for some extra protection, it was finally time to do a bit of farming. You know what? That'll do. A little bit of stone, a little bit of metal, that's all I need. It is about damn time I did a big recycle run. I have so many components, that I haven't recycled any in ages. What in the world? There's no way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is there just an airdrop there, man? That's weird. Bro, the surf is still full pop. That has not happened to me in a while. 450 scrap. Beautiful. Right, it is time to head back into the ocean. This time, I'm gonna go to labs. Just me here. Still creepy nonetheless. Oh, fuck me. I hate the way they just walk through doors. <laughs> so scary. My god, Labs is so good. I've been here, what, two minutes and I've got a full inventory of components? God damn. Bro! These guys have got to stop with the jump scares. They're making no noise. I'm sorry, Rug. You're not going to be able to come with me. Got too much stuff. And with a full inventory, unable to carry any more loot, it was time to head home. Right now, especially because I'm driving a boat in, that just attracts so much attention. So I'm going to get out the boat here, put on the diving gear, and then go into my little uh, second base. No one will ever see me like a shadow. Look at that, it's so smooth. You gotta love it. And then, just chuck all of my stuff in this box, and it'll go straight into my base. Well, look at that, guys. It can't be called clickbait because I finally actually used it. Let's go! <laughs> and then just respawn here, and there's all the loot. Safe and sound in my main base. Beautiful. And after a successful lab run, I wanted to keep the streak going by heading to Oil Rig, which would turn out to be slightly more challenging. Oh yeah, there are people on the rig. That's... that's a lot of players. This might be tough. Holy shit! Well, now's a good time to go. Oh, there are still signs! Fuck! Go, 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 go! In the vents! Oh, why did they do so much damage? Fuck, I've got to channel my spoon kid here. Where am I going? Vents! Right, let's see if I can remember what he taught me. Alright. So, if I'm not mistaken... Jump up here. On here. And into this vent. Beautiful. Then we take a right. Follow this through. Then we take another right, I believe. Perfect, yep, okay, I just need to wait for this scientist to move off, and then I can jump up. I am 
pretty sure they're on a helipad right now. Pretty certain. Ooh, I almost fucked that up. Oh, I shouldn't have gone into that room. No, I fucked up by going in there, man. This isn't good. Oh, can I not get shot by the scientist, please? No! Fuck. Ah, if I'd hit one more headshot there. That's such a shame. That was a minicopter as well. Fuck. Right. I think it is time to do some AK roaming. Let's do it. Gotta get the fit prepared. <laughs> Pulling out all the stops to survive. Right, first time I'm just using the AK to do a recycle run, just so I feel like I've actually used it well. <laughs> and then I'll go out and just fight. There we go. Beautiful. 500 scrap. I might even be able to get a tier 3 soon. I haven't really thought about that. Damn, 1200 scrap. 50 scrap away from a tier 3. Who knows, maybe tomorrow I'll uh, get the tier 3 down, do some big raids. Got lots of sulfur built up. But just to make sure I actually survive until tomorrow, let's get some honeycomb on the top floor. This is honestly quite a tough raid. Like... There's a lot of walls, a lot of garage doors. It looks like quite a small base, but it's pretty lethal. And the best part of it, it's symmetrical. Because <laughs> that's, that's all that matters. I got plenty of frags, I think I'm actually just gonna upgrade most of this straight away. I feel on top of the world up here. <laughs> what is that, four stories? Not bad. Now, it would be wrong not to build a Tokyo Tower up here, <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh, this is so dumb. I do not need a tower up here, but I just thought it would be cool, so I'm doing it. And because I'm a chad, you know I'm gonna get it all to sheet metal. Let's go. I think it would then be cool to have a little turret there. Just like a little turret pod, just so no one can ladder up onto my roof. Oh, that's perfect. I can definitely make this fit. This is gonna look so good. Okay, and then if I can just squeeze a barricade there, this would be so cool. Come on. Come on, I know I can do it. Is that gonna stay? Please. Please stay. No! Fuck. Okay, that one stays. That would have looked so good, though. Okay, I, I can get it to work. Barricade there, just because it looks cool and it stops people from going above the auto turret. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to stay. Perfect. And... Yes! Look at it! <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. Now, if this isn't the coolest base you've ever seen, I don't know what is. I just need North turret in there. Now that's a hell of a view. Now I've just got to go through the painstaking task of wiring these all up. And we are done. <laughs> God damn. You can't fault the way this game looks, that's for sure.
Fuck off, dear. Now it's morning, I think it's time to go see what this base looks like from the outside. I have a feeling it's gonna look a little interesting. <laughs> That's so dumb, but I love it. <laughs> oh, what have I created? <laughs> hey, that's kinda cool, man. The time was now 2am. I'd been playing for more than 16 hours and I was almost ready to go to bed. But I just wanted to do one final roam. Oh, Yogi! What the fuck, man? Wait, he's still alive? Bruh. Hmm, poor guy had quite a lot of components on him. Salvage Dax too. Oh, I think it's the base that I heard getting raided just now. Wait, it definitely is. I haven't even finished the raid. Whoever did it might actually come back for that. I'll take the charcoal. Ooh. Ooh, AKM2? This could be interesting. Ooh. I think it's three. This is gonna be tough. I think I need to try and kill one without them even knowing where I am with the silencer and then take it off. Just gotta use these bushes to my advantage. Two dead. One more. And she's dead. One AK left. That is gonna wrap up today's adventure. If you did enjoy, make sure to check out my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe too. Unfortunately, when I returned the next day, my base had in fact been offline raided. And I never found out who actually raided me. But after a long two days, I was happy for the rest, and I was proud of what I'd accomplished. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Will Jim. If I get up off my bed just once, but it rained down on me.